then the whole point of this video is just to give you inspiration for future Halloween costumes and honestly like look at it it's majestical and beautiful like I'm so obsessed right now you have no idea like honestly I would just make it for the sake of my room just for decor and so um I mean if you're interested please stay tuned till the end of this video and let's just get started so what you will need is a glue gun some scissors white paint a plain headband a brush or tool you can dot with and also some beige and brown felt and some antlers that you can probably find from any place that sells Christmas deer decorations or ornaments. But I think making them out of pipe cleaner and paper mache is the least expensive way to go. And last but not least, some flowers. I got mine from Michael's, but you can also get them from the dollar store. First things first, we are going to cover the headband in dark brown felt as our base that we are going to work off of. So, you will need to cut out two or three strips of felt to make sure the headband is fully, fully covered. After that, all you have to do is just twist the felt all the way around the headband and secure the ends with hot glue. By the way, don't mind the little crusty white paint thingies on my fingernails because I painted my room the day before and it didn't come off, so yeah. Next, you're going to cut out some leaf-shaped ears. For me, I like my antler ears pretty big, but it's all up to you. If your ears are way too big, like I noticed now when I was comparing it with the headband, I decided to cut them down a little bit more so they don't look like Dumbo ears. And then I took some light brown beige felt and cut out some flower petal shaped pieces for the fawn ears. Then all you gotta do is just hot glue the felt leaf pieces together and there you have it you got some fawn ears now using the white paint and dotting tool or in this case i'm using the end of a paintbrush all you need to do is make several little dots on the ears to give the font ears a speckled cutesy look, I guess. Then the next step is to figure out where you want to hot glue the font ears to the headband. To attach them, I made little square cutouts on the ends of the font ears, so that way they will be much more sturdy after I hot glue them on. Also, remember to cut off the excess pieces of felt so that way it doesn't stick out. Then I decided how my antlers should be attached. It's up to you, but I preferred mine to have the antlers facing upwards because it looks so much better. Now for the fun part, the decorating phase. There isn't a specific way you should hot glue your flowers on because at this point, it's all about your creativity and what you can do with it. So just lay back and let your hands do all the work. The only tip I can give you guys is to go crazy with it and just use your imagination because the whole entire time when I was decorating, I literally just winged it and my artsy side just came out of me. 
Also, I suggest hiding the back with, you know, a couple leaves or flowers. I'm a perfectionist, so I had to make sure no hot glue was showing. And, I mean, people notice the back too, you know. Anyways, I really do hope I inspired you guys in some way. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!